What's going on everybody? It's been about a week and a half since we last updated you guys on what's going on with the surgery. Uh, but this right here today will be our official one week pre-op update. We have been going strong for seven days doing the full liquid diet. Wanna kinda go over some of the numbers that were going on for how much we weighed at the beginning, how much do we weigh now, how's the diet been going, have we been cheating, what have been going on, how are we preparing? I'm gonna go over everything for you guys because maybe you might be sitting out there ready to go on your full liquid diet and you wanna kinda see how it is and then what maybe things that you can do to prepare for it. Maybe you have already went through the, the, the pre-phase and you just wanna check in on how I'm doing it. Or maybe you're just out there with neither and just want to see how I'm doing in general while well, I'm here to tell you guys on this one week update. Let's go ahead and talk about the very first weigh-in. So I started weighing in last Monday. I weighed 331.3 pounds. That's a lot of weight, but I'm looking forward and motivated to taking it off to get into a healthier version of me. Tell you guys, we're going to cut right to the chase. It's been seven days. I weighed myself this morning. We weighed in at 315 pounds of or 315.4 pounds uh, that's a total loss of 15.9 pounds so far uh, in nine days so far going really really good I'll tell you what the first about three days or so I'd say 40 to 72 hours the caffeine withdrawals were crazy I was having some headaches that I was just trying to shake them through uh, I, I work full-time work a lot of times six days a week um, and it was getting to me a little bit, but I was still able to manage my day. I, I was drinking as much water as I can, trying to get my 64 ounces of fluids in, uh, doing everything I possibly can, eating my jello. I tried to eat some of this, the broth. It just, it was turning my stomach too much. So I, I have ate a little bit here or there. Really haven't been consistent with the broths or the cream soups or anything like that. It's just been kind of really turning my stomach. So the one thing that I have been living on right now is these sugar-free popsicles and i'm telling you guys there's actually a, the original popsicles that you can get i think it's like the grape uh strawberry and something else but i found sugar-free it's from the brand popsicle it's actually tropical and i had a yellow one today it was almost like a pina colada it's it's great to mix things up because i'm telling you i'm seven days in and and i would be lying to you if it's i would say it's not hard this is probably one of the hardest things i've ever done I haven't had a solid piece of food in seven days now. Uh, it's rough, you know, you sit here and I, I live with children as well, and my wife and everyone's eating, and man, it's smelling good. I'll tell you guys, they, they were making a fried ham sandwich, they were frying up their ham and putting on the bread, and I was feeling, oh my gosh, I just wanted to eat it, but I couldn't. Why? Because I have end goals, and I know if I sacrifice some things now, that I'm gonna be a happier person in the future. So that's just kind of what it was. I'm sticking to my three protein shakes a day, sticking with about 60 to 90 grams of protein. So I'm doing that, it's helping me curve a lot of my hunger. I'm not really necessarily too hungry. Uh, now I think I had today, and I was trying to drink a protein shake, and I really couldn't even finish it all. It's just, I wasn't really there. I had some, um, some broccoli cheese soup today, I strained it all out, so it was just kind of the, the, the cream soup part. Couldn't even eat a cup of it. Um, ate it roughly about three quarters of a cup of it. So it's doing really well. Um, it's it's a hard time. It's not the, the, the easiest thing that I've ever done, but on top of all of that, now it's starting to say I'm very low calories. I'm probably eating anywhere between 600 to 700 calories a day. Uh, it's it's getting to that point. I'm also in the in the middle of moving to a new house. So uh, for today, for instance, I was picking up a lot of heavy boxes and we were moving. And I was starting to get a little dizzy. So it's just one of those things you gotta you gotta look out for because you're not supposed to be doing any exercise or any workouts right now because you're not ingesting enough calories to be able to burn in the in whenever you're we're working out. But I was doing a lot of lifts and a lot of stuff and I really felt it. I was starting to get a little queasy, a little a little unfeeling with myself, and I was starting to get dizzy. I had to sit down for a little while, drink some water, and I, I was getting back into it. But um, as of right now, I'm still gulping down the water as much as I can. I'm living on the popsicles. Uh, the jello and the pudding, the sugar-free jello and sugar-free pudding is good, but it's getting to the point to where I'm like, okay, I'm done with the sugar-free jello. I'm done with the sugar-free pudding. Like, I'm ready to have some food, but it's still going to be a little bit long haul. I, I can't really even eat any kind of solid food until February 27th. I've got it on my, my map already. Uh, that's a couple weeks after I've had surgery. I can start eating, eating maybe the refried beans and some boiled eggs and things like that. And what surprised me as well, when I had my nutrition class, I found out that I can actually have grits, which is, I didn't think I could have grits on the soft food stage. Um, so once the soft food stage starts on February 27th, 
I will be able to eat some grits, which I am super excited for. I can't wait to get my refried beans and put some of that taco sauce in there, maybe even a little splash of, of sour cream. Oh, it's gonna be so good and I can't wait. But that is motivating me to get there. So the hard times that I'm feeling right now, like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. Yes, you can. You can do this because it's only a few more weeks. I have surgery next week. Uh, I have surgery in seven days. So not this Monday right here tomorrow, but uh, in seven days from that, the 13th, I'm having my surgery. So you guys are probably seeing that. This is Sunday that I'm recording this right now on uh, February 5th. Uh, you guys will probably, I think I will post this probably tomorrow, February 6th, after I get done uh, maybe editing or something like that. Uh, I'll post it out there tomorrow so you guys will see it. And it'll be a week uh, until I have surgery, so I'm super excited about that. But yeah, that's pretty much how things are going for me right now. It's going good. I'm going steady and going strong. Um, yes, I've had temptations here and there, but I have said no. Guys, the first day, last Monday, I started on my pre-op diet. Uh, all liquids, all liquids. Guess what? So I, I'm a chiropractor. I own my own office. So I had an uh, MRI place come in. They delivered me a king cake to the office for me and my staff to eat. I didn't eat any of it. The next day, I had an attorney bring three boxes, three boxes, three dozen of donuts. I didn't eat anything. See, I'm being tempted, but that's okay because I have an end goal of mine. We can all just keep in our head. We have a goal to achieve. We have health we want to achieve. Anything's possible. If I can say no to King Cake, a boy from Louisiana can say no to King Cake, yo, everybody can do this. I'm telling you, you just got to stay focused, stay on your mind. Make sure you're getting your protein in. It's going to help curb your, 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 your cravings. And make sure you get those sugar-free popsicles because I'm telling you right now, those are lifesavers. But that's about it for this video. I just want to update you guys on how it is. If you'd like to see my overview of my BSG nutrition class, just click right here. And then we'll see you guys on the next video. Probably update you guys in week two. We'll see how it goes.